Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Great Voyage. I, the strongest fighter on the rock's ship. Chapter 71, The Second Half of the Grand Line, New World Waters. Dozens of steel behemoths were advancing on the sea like a torrent. Wherever they passed, the pirates retreated. A huge main ship was guarded in the center, with Kong, three admirals, and Sengoku, Garp, Zephyr, and Crane standing on it. According to the current speed, we can reach Beehive Island in another half day's driving. Kong's eyes were deep, looking in the direction of Honeycomb Island, the cloak of justice behind him rustling in the wind. As the supreme leader of Marine, the more this time comes, the more cautious and calm he must be. Once you encounter the Rock's Pirate, it will be a fierce battle, so stay alert at all times as the battle is imminent. Sure enough, a soldier walked over quickly. Marshal Kong, Generals, according to the information from the spies, there is a defense line set up by Rock's Pirate in the middle of the route between the Grand Fleet and Beehive Island. It is about half a day away from the fleet's position. Among them, Captain Rocks, Whitebeard Newgate, Golden Lion Shaki, Charlotte Linlin, Kadri Yulo, and newcomer Kaido are responsible for guarding the defense line. The rest of the cadres are stationed on Beehive Island. The soldier finished his message and hurriedly retreated. Hurry, hurry, this time we must catch that guy Yulo. Garp and Zephyr heard this and didn't think much about it. They looked at each other and geared up. Admiral Herman caressed his lower abdomen and couldn't help clenching his fists. This was a scar left by Yulo, which didn't heal until before the expedition. This rocks is so arrogant. Half the team's strength is trying to stop us. Admiral Quincy has a straightforward personality, frowning and quite angry. Their Marine Marshal Admiral is all out, but Rock's defense line only has half of its cadres. Maybe they think they can compete with them with this. Such a defensive line is completely unnecessary. Why did Rock's arrange it like this? Sengoku narrowed his eyes slightly and muttered to himself, feeling inexplicable worry again. The words were not loud, but everyone heard them and fell into deep thought. Especially Kong and he are even more suspicious of this. The former, as Marine Marshal, is an old rival of Rock's, and the latter is also resourceful and can be regarded as Marine's think tank. Bulu Bulu. While everyone was thinking deeply, Kong's phone bug rang. He came back to his senses and his face changed slightly. This was his secret phone bug. Three Admiral, Sengoku, he and others also looked over. Hey, I'm Sora. Kong answered the phone and said in a low tone. He didn't do much to cover up, and everyone present was a trusted person. The public beheading of the Celestial Dragons is fake, the surprise attack on the naval headquarters is real. Rox has already rushed to naval headquarters with the elite. With Shiki's lion fruit ability, it won't take long. Mr. Five got straight to the point without any nonsense and hung up the phone after talking. On Beehive Island, he was as steady as an old dog, showing a proud smile. He thought that no one would find out, but he didn't know that he had already been exposed. The reason why he was not killed immediately to prevent him from secretly informing Marine was because by this time, Rock's plan had been successful. What? Kong's face changed drastically, and a look of shock appeared. Three Admiral, Sengoku, Garp, Zephyr, and Crane were also stunned. Sengoku finally understood where his inexplicable worries came from. A plan to lure the tiger away from the mountain. The real purpose is to surprise naval headquarters. Naval headquarters is currently empty of troops. If Rox really attacks, it will fall in minutes. Really worthy of being Rox, he plays with great tricks. Return immediately. Kong looked ugly and was about to shout, but was interrupted by he. Marshal Kong, is the news about this person reliable? The action was ordered by the five elders. Why not contact the five elders first? It's safer to let the people from world government investigate. Crane interrupted Kong's words and said in a deep voice with his eyelids lowered. She was not personally involved in this matter and only found out about it when she came to the warship, so he was thinking rationally at this moment. Yes, just to be on the safe side, contact the five elders first. The fleet slowed down and advanced slowly. Kong stopped talking and nodded after hearing what Crane said. It was indeed a bit impulsive just now, so the five elders should be notified of the action instructions first. What's more, according to the news from five elders, there are indeed two celestial dragons on the celestial dragon's ship that Yulo stole. He was also a little confused about the current situation. 
Although the information provided by Mr. Five in the past was indeed correct, who could be sure this time? It is better to let world government's intelligence personnel confirm the authenticity of the news first. Even if Rox really calls naval headquarters, world government will not sit idly by. Bulu Bulu. Thinking of this and seeing that no one had any objections, Kong dialed the phone number. As for Yulo, the ship speed is propelled by dual capabilities, and the naval headquarters has appeared in sight. Rox, Newgate, Shiki, Yulo, Linlin, Kaido, came out of the room. Everyone looked down and could vaguely see that Crescent Harbor was empty. Children, are you ready? Rox pulled out his long knife, raised it above his head, and shouted loudly. Captain Rox, I'm just waiting for your order. Come on, ha 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 ha, I can't wait for a long time. All the pirates were in high spirits and excited. They were all gearing up and clashing their swords. Attacking naval headquarters was something they had never dared to think about before, but now it was about to happen. Thinking about it made them excited. Although the naval headquarters was no more empty than before, this gave everyone great confidence. At this time, two majestic men were sitting in the office building of naval headquarters. Field Marshal Lucius is not very powerful. A CP0 member in a white suit looked at the man looking around in front of him and made this comment in his heart. As expected of the naval headquarters, it's just more arrogant than the army. Field Marshal Lucius, wearing a green cloak, said enviously. Their army is inferior to the Marine, which is a medium-sized military organization under the world government. The only admiral combat force is him, the marshal. The main responsibility is to protect the Red Line. The soldiers are all local people and have basically never been to the sea. Now that I have seen naval headquarters, I can feel the gap. But this time there is a mission, a special deployment mission, to temporarily guard the naval headquarters. The person next to him was a senior member of the CP0 organization, with the combat power of an elite vice admiral. Naval headquarters is going to fight the Rocks Pirate. Who doesn't have the foresight to dare to come here and act wild? After turning around a few times, Lucius muttered something and sat down lazily. Bulu Bulu. At this moment, the man in White's phone suddenly rang. He glanced at Lucius, stood up and walked outside the door, and then answered the phone. Victor, call Lucius. A majestic voice came, faintly anxious, and the face on the phone was clearly that of the old man in white robes. The old man in white robe knew how strict CPO was and said this. Yes, Victor spoke concisely, returned to the room, and sat next to Victor. Yo, Lucius was surprised. He was about to joke, but when he saw the phone bug, he swallowed his words and became serious. I didn't expect it to be Lord Five Elders, and I almost got offended. I miscalculated. Kong sent news that rocks will surprise naval headquarters. I have sent people to check if there is anything unusual over there. The old man in white robe asked directly, his voice was extremely solemn. If this news is true, then naval headquarters is in danger, and more importantly, the face of the world government. When Lucius and Victor heard this, they stood up. Lucius was shocked. If the five elders weren't there, he would have shouted out. This is not true, this is not true, he kept praying in his heart. It's not easy for him to go to sea once, but don't let him become extremely happy and sad. Victor also looked shocked. If the rocks pirate came, he wouldn't be able to defend even ten of them. Thinking of this, the two hurriedly came outside and released observation hockey. They were relieved when they found that there was nothing abnormal. Ha, huh, sir, there is no. The two looked at each other and couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. But just as they were talking, the sun suddenly became dazzling, and the two of them looked at each other in unison, their expressions instantly becoming horrified. The clouds in the sky suddenly dispersed, like a canyon in the sky, and a sword energy rushed straight down, falling from the sky and striking the office building. Boom! The entire office building was separated, and collapsed one after another under the powerful impact, with debris flying. Lucius and Victor were unprepared and were blown away by the sudden airflow. At the critical moment, the two used Moonwalk to stabilize their bodies. However, Victor's phone bug has fallen into the ruins. At this time, the phone kept ringing, and the old man in white robe even roared. Hey, hey, Victor, Lucius, talk, talk. What's going on? What happened? Damn. The old man in white robe kept asking questions, but there was no response. 
thinking of the loud noise just now, the old man in white robe realized that Rock's pirate was really coming. The news is correct, Rox is here. He put down the phone weakly and shook his head at the four old men. The naval headquarters still needs to be protected. The five of us haven't taken action in a long time. It seems that we are going to have some activities this time. The old man headed by five elders pushed up his glasses, his voice revealing deep helplessness. They really never imagined that the real purpose of rocks causing such a big fuss was to surprise naval headquarters. But no wonder, anyone sitting in their position would be dominated by the majesty and prestige of world government. The five of us should have taken action long ago. We must eliminate rocks this time. The grumpy old blonde man rolled up his sleeves in anger and prepared to fight. The five of them are in high positions and are usually not allowed to take action easily. Now that Marine is far away in New World, they have no choice but to take action. Rock's strength is unfathomable. With Yulo, Shaki, Newgate, etc., we can only resist them, but it's not enough to win them. The old man with a long beard looked calm and analyzed calmly. Inform Kong and ask Marine to return to defense at full speed. There is nothing to fear from the people on Beehive Island. All the real threats are here. We must hold rocks down until Marine comes back. He will be unable to fly. In addition, gather members of the CP organization and the troops from the Ministry of Science and rush to the naval headquarters at full speed. The bespectacled old man squinted his eyes and thought for a moment, then quickly issued a series of combat instructions. Rock's action was unexpected, but it was also an opportunity. Now that Rox is here, he must be eliminated at all costs. The remaining four old men looked at each other without any opinions. The next moment, the figures of the five people disappeared in an instant. Naval headquarters, the remaining soldiers left behind, quickly rallied together. Something is falling from the sky. The soldiers who were waiting for him shouted in fright. Sure enough, it's in the sky, is it about to attack? Lucius and Victor stared solemnly at the landing giant ship. The pirate flag on the mast was both eye-catching and flamboyant, and no one dared to look directly at it. Young boys, get down and start the fight. Rox looked fierce and pointed a knife in his hand. The pirates stared at the naval headquarters and couldn't help but become crazy about it. Gia ha ha ha, how about Lousy's slashing attack? It doesn't taste good. Golden Lion Shaki took the lead and jumped down, his face full of arrogance, and his laughter echoed throughout the naval headquarters. Immediately afterwards, Rox, Newgate, Yulo, Linlin, -Lin, and Kaido walked down one after another. Various captains and a large number of crew members followed closely with weapons in hand. Rox, this is naval headquarters, retreat quickly. Victor's face was ugly. He looked at the pirate in front of him and shouted out of duty, but actually he was panicking inside. Lucius on the side couldn't help but tremble secretly when he saw this battle. He had known that this would never happen. Rox, Newgate, Shaki, Yulo, four admiral-level combat powers, they must not be crushed to ashes. Just you two, a ragtag bunch. The surprise attack on naval headquarters was to take revenge on Marine. Rox looked fierce and his eyes were filled with murderous intent. Regardless of whether they were from Marine or not, if they came into contact with him, they would definitely die. Rox, aren't you afraid that Lord Five Elders is coming? Lucius had admiral strength but a timid personality, so he brought in reinforcements. I hope Rox can retreat so he can save his own life. But after all, he was from the army. He knew about Rock's pirate, but he didn't know much about it. Ha ha, I wish I could have it, those five old guys. Before they arrive, let's kill you two first. Rock smiled disdainfully, his expression turned cold, and his words were full of murderous intent. You guys, kill me. Rock shouted sharply. A large number of sailors rushed over and fought with the marine soldiers. The sound of fighting, the sound of bullets, and the roaring and shouting were all intertwined. Lucius and Victor saw that the strong man on the opposite side had not yet taken action, so they did not dare to act rashly. At this time, only passive defense can prolong the time and wait for reinforcements from the world government. Otherwise, if it were just the two of them, if they took the initiative, they would be in trouble in a matter of minutes. They wanted to passively defend and wait for rescue, but Shaki couldn't bear it any more. Since losing to Yulo, his strength has improved, and he always wants to find someone to fight with to verify his strength and vent his emotions. 
Immediately, with a whoosh, Shaki rushed over. A trajectory flashed through the air at a speed that was difficult to see with the naked eye. There was a sudden scene between Lucius and Victor, and their tense nerves instantly exploded. Fortunately, Lucius has admiral fighting power, and his muscles are tense, always ready to face the golden lion Shaki. Victor's strength was a bit lower than that of the elite vice admiral. He was horrified by this, and the hairs all over his body were breaking out, and he was sweating profusely. As expected, a clang. At the critical moment, Lucius raised his fists and used the dark armament hockey to block Shiki's soccer at 10 and Deadwood. Gia ha ha ha, you are pretty good, but I've never heard of you. Shiki smiled frivolously. While he was in a stalemate, his feet were covered in armor and he kicked Lucius in the chest. Snort. When Lucius saw this, he suddenly retreated, his face as black as coal, and he felt very unhappy. He originally planned to self-report information to prove that he was not a nobody, but Shiki's words directly let him break his defense. Shiki jumped up and chased after him, waving the two swords in his hands and shooting sword energy one after another. Facing the golden lion Shiki, Lucius did not dare to be careless. Coupled with the situation, he directly exploded with all his strength. With the assistance of the Wisdom Color and the Armament Color, Lucius activated his sixth form and dispersed Shiki's sword energy. The two men were twisting and turning, using various moves frequently, and they were fighting inextricably. Boom, 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 wherever he passed, the air exploded and waves swept across. Hiss. Dot who. Victor was still frightened, as if he was reborn after a disaster, and took a deep breath. He looked at the battle in the distance and couldn't help but feel scared. Fortunately, he was not strong and Shaki didn't bother to fight him. Otherwise, if it were him, he would have been defeated by now, and there is no need to say more about the outcome. Scandium. But at this moment, the sound of a knife being drawn brought Victor's mind back to reality. He looked subconsciously and saw Yulo holding the black knife and staring at him with a half-smile. Suddenly, Victor felt a chill enveloped him, as if he was in a pool of bone-chilling cold. No. Missed a powerful enemy. A Shinigami is welcome. Victor was frightened in his heart and was extremely decisive in the crisis. He turned around and ran away without hesitation. That was the monster Yulo, the one who could injure Admiral Herman. If he took action, he would definitely die. Victor had no choice. Can you run away? Yulo smiled evilly and murmured softly. Victor's running figure became smaller and smaller in his sight. In an instant, the sword intent rose, the sword energy lingered around the black sword, and the sharp sword power emerged. Rocks, Newgate and others couldn't help but look at it sideways. The black knife suddenly slashed out, and the sword energy slashed and fired, turning into a line of swords, killing Victor in the distance. The sword energy cut through the ground, as if it had spanned space. After a few breaths, he was very close to Victor. Victor ran some distance away and felt lucky to see that Yulo had not caught up with him yet. The next moment, a wave of energy hid behind him. He sensed danger, but it was too late. He knew he couldn't avoid the sword energy that was so close. Ha! Victor shouted loudly, planning to fight to the death. Armament Hockey used all his strength to turn around and take the blow. Boom! The sword energy struck his chest, and Armament Hockey was broken like paper. Boom! Victor was thrown away like a cannonball and hit the ground. Under the powerful impact, the ground was overwhelmed and a large crater exploded. Ah! Ah! Victor curled up, the blood marks on his chest were eye-catching, and the bones were clearly visible, and blood was pouring out. Ha! Huh. Six-position iron body. There is still breath. Yulo felt a little surprised that he was not dead after seeing the color perception. According to his estimation, this sword energy slash was enough to kill him, but it became clear immediately. His Grandmaster Advanced Sixth Form could detect it. After breaking through the weapon color, this person also activated Iron Body. This was ignored by Yulo. He only counted Armament Hockey, one of the six defense Iron Body, which was indeed unexpected. Even though Yulo Grandmaster has advanced six forms, he has never performed Iron Body. Firstly, with his current strength, he doesn't need to defend himself in battle, and there are no attacks that can kill him, not to mention armament hockey. Secondly, there are rumors about the iron body. The iron body does a lot of harm to people, starting from the sixth form and dying from the iron body, which makes Yulo a little panicked. 
But now it seems that the rumors are not true. This man only used iron body to prevent him from being killed by his own sword energy. Not only did he block the sword energy, he also barely managed to breathe. Although he was about to die, it had nothing to do with the iron body. He had lost too much blood. Yulo's eyes were a little strange, and he couldn't help but feel happy when he saw Victor dying. This man's death should have nothing to do with me. If I were to blame, it would be the use of iron body. Sure enough, it started with the six postures and died with the iron body. It has done a lot of harm to others. Don't deceive me. Gee you la la la, boy Yulo, you are progressing too fast. Whitebeard Newgate came over, patted Yulo on the shoulder, and laughed. Newgate was a little shocked. Yulo's current strength is no weaker than his own. Newgate, who has witnessed the whole process, is really envious of Yulo's talent. Okay, Yulo was used to this situation and said lightly. He really didn't know what to say anymore, so he could only say this. Otherwise, I would say too much, that guy Shaki always says he is a show-off. Rox remained silent and nodded secretly. Yulo became stronger, which was exactly what he needed. On the other hand, Kaido, who had a dispute with Yulo, had a trace of bitterness deep inside. My dignified Kaido has been oppressed by others. When will this kind of life end? On the other side, Shaki also noticed it. Although he had already suspected it, he couldn't help being shocked. No matter how much he improves, Yulo is always one step ahead. Lucius's face was as gloomy as water, and his horror was not shown. This Yulo's fighting power is so powerful that Victor can't stop him even with a single move. Fortunately, it was Shaki who attacked me, otherwise it wouldn't have been so easy. Suddenly, Lucius felt a little lucky, fighting against Shaki was quite enjoyable. After fighting for so long, the two were evenly matched, and there was no life or death crisis for him. As long as the stalemate continued like this, he would be able to save his life until world government's reinforcements arrived, and he wouldn't have to be killed instantly like Victor. But what he didn't expect was that Shaki was evenly matched with him, but he just wanted to have more fun. Shaki, don't waste time, don't forget there are things to do. Rox, who had been standing erect like a sword, counted the time running out. This surprise attack was mainly to retaliate against Marine, but there was also a secondary purpose. After traveling all the way, there was always something to gain. Gu la la la, Shaki, can you do it? If not, just let me do it. Newgate laughed heartily and joked mercilessly. Newgate, you guy, don't underestimate me. Shaki, who was enjoying the battle, suddenly became angry and swung the double swords in his hands even faster. At this moment, Lucius squinted his eyes and felt the pressure with each move. This golden lion Shaki is so awesome that he actually hides a trace of his strength. Don't underestimate me, come and die. Shaki suddenly burst out of anger. He didn't want Newgate to underestimate him. Besides, Rox also spoke, so let's end the battle as soon as possible. The dark armament hockey seemed to be flowing on the blades of Sakura Ju and Kusagi. Clang. One move of emission slashed Lucius directly into the air. Lion, Thousand Slice Valley. Immediately afterwards, dozens of golden slashes pierced the sky and flew towards Lucius, who was knocked away. Lucius was shocked. Shiki's strength was beyond his expectation. The previous even match was just hiding his weakness. What? As soon as he used Moonwalk to stabilize his body, he felt a sharp air flow coming towards him. He quickly took a closer look and saw a group of slashes coming towards him. The look of shock disappeared, replaced by a look of horror, and a heart that felt like crying but no tears. We were playing comfortably, why did our strength suddenly surge? Can we still play together? That guy from Newgate underestimates you. Why don't you go to him for a duel instead of venting your anger on me? The emotion of fear flashed past. After all, he was still a field marshal. No matter how aggrieved Lucius was, he couldn't show it. Shiki's explosive strength gave him a sense of gap. He thought he was not weak and could be evenly matched with Shiki, but it turned out that he was naive. The golden sword energy slashes came in an instant, and there were dozens of them so densely packed that he had no time to dodge, so he had to use armament hockey and the six-position frontal attack. Boom, 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 boom. After three hard moves, there was a gap in the connection, and the remaining golden slash hit Lucius with a whoosh. 
The whole person was thrown backwards and hit the office building. The wall exploded, a big hole appeared, and rubble flew. It's such rubbish and it's over in one go. Shiki carried the two swords, pretending to be surprised on his face, with a vague look in his eyes, and glanced at Rox, Newgate, and Yulo, as if he was deliberately showing off. Well, Yulo held his forehead and was speechless for a while. Shiki was so good at pretending. Did he learn it from him? Although Lucius's strength is at the admiral level, it is not as strong as Shiki. He should have just stepped into the admiral and be at the bottom. With this level of combat power, it is not a problem for Shiki to crush him, but it is probably impossible to defeat him with one move. Even if he and Newgate were slightly better than Shiki, it would still be very difficult to do this. The strength has reached the level of admiral. The battle cannot be solved by a few moves. Even Rox, the overlord of the era, is only the peak of admiral's combat power. If Shiki hadn't suddenly exploded just now, using emission hockey to knock Lucius away, and Thousand Slice Valley catching him off guard, Lucius would have probably been able to dodge it. The man's injuries are fatal. Get rid of him as soon as possible. Let's go in first. Rox released his sense of perception and sensed the man's situation. Seeing that Shiki was in high spirits, he let him go. Ahem, Lucius coughed and stood up holding on to the wall, with several more scars on his body. Although the wound was not deep and did not threaten his life, it was so painful that he grimaced. Gia ha ha ha, tell me your name. Shiki was very interested, pointed his sword at Lucius, and asked frivolously. As for Rox, Newgate, and Yulo, Shiki didn't care what they were doing. Field Marshal, Lucius, Lucius' face was solemn and his mood was even heavier, feeling that this time it was going to be over. Anyway, everyone is dead, so he can leave a famous name. He doesn't want to be a nameless ghost. Nani, with this strength, you can still be a field marshal. You still lie in front of me, Shiki, and you will die. However, Shiki was very angry and kindly asked him to leave a name before his death. This guy did not know how to deceive him. Although Shiki doesn't know what the army is, how can the marshal of the world government's secret organization be so weak? Do you really think I'm a fool? Immediately, Shiki was furious and killed him fiercely. I'm really an army. Lucius said his name and felt inexplicably relieved, but Shiki's words made him completely confused. He reported his name as he wished, but Shiki didn't believe it. Just because I'm weak and can't beat you, you're calling me a liar. If you have any idea, ask the five elders, the field marshals of Lousy, who were personally appointed by them. Lucius's face turned red, and he felt extremely aggrieved. His body began to tremble, and the pain at the wound was forgotten. How has a field marshal of the world government ever been questioned like this? It is simply a shame and a great humiliation. Aha, Lucius raised his head and roared, ignoring the injury on his chest, and rushed directly towards Shiki. Oh, the unknown person is a bit bloody. Shiki's words were equal parts ridicule and praise, crushing Lucius with both swords. However, in Lucius's ears, all he could hear were nameless people, and he would say this even if he died. Lucius burst out with all his strength and faced the danger without fear, but in the end he was weaker than Golden Lion Shiki. In the beginning, I could barely resist, but now I was pressed and beaten everywhere. After a while, I felt cold. In this way, the dignified field marshal, the guardian of the naval headquarters, was killed by the Golden Lion Shiki of the Rocks Pirate. Until his death, Shiki did not believe that this man was a real field marshal. On the other side, Rox, Newgate, Yulo, walked into the naval headquarters office building. Linlin and Kaido, following Rock's orders, stayed outside to observe the situation. In the office building, the three of them acted separately. Newgate searched the warehouse of naval headquarters to see if there was anything good. Rox travels to the classified archives at naval headquarters, where there is information he's always wanted to know. Yulo smiled mysteriously and released observation hockey to cover the naval headquarters, locking the offices and residences of the Marshal and the Third Admiral. Newgate, Yulo and Grandmaster Observation Hockey acted extremely quickly. After a while, the three of them walked out with smiles on their faces, looking like they had returned home with a full load. Newgate carried several sacks, showed them to Rox, and then handed them over to someone he trusted and sent them to the ship. It seems that Rox went to the secret room of naval headquarters empty-handed. 
It is unknown what he got. As for the things Yulo harvested, they were all put into the system inventory. Seeing this, Rox and Newgate didn't pay too much attention. What treasures have been found? Show it to Lousy. Shiki, who was idle, saw the big sack, ran over, rubbed his hands and asked. Shiki didn't participate in the search, but it didn't mean that he didn't need it, or that he wasn't interested. In fact, he wanted to form a pirate group, and he needed a lot of things. It's just that he's in the mood, not to mention that Rox, Newgate, and Yula won't be greedy for his share. Shiki, keep your mouth shut, who are you talking to in front of Lousy? Newgate sliced through the clouds and glared at Shiki. He suddenly felt that Shiki's mouth had become much more poisonous after fighting Yulo. During this time, the thought of beating up Shiki came more frequently than before. Yulo looked at Shiki and couldn't help but sneer. This greedy virtue is almost as good as John's. We'll talk about this when we go back. Not a penny of what belongs to you will be lost. Including Lin Lin and Kaido, you too. Rock's face was solemn and he said with dignity, not forgetting Lin Lin and Kaido. Lin Lin and Kaido, who had always been on the edge, were moved to tears after hearing this. You must have noticed the two of us, otherwise we would have been in the air forever. The two of them had never made any moves since they followed the boat, and they basically couldn't even speak to them. The six of them looked around. The battle was over. Hundreds of soldier corpses were scattered in Crescent Bay Square. Broken limbs were everywhere, rivers of blood flowed, and the strong smell of blood filled the air. The bodies of Victor and Lucius were covered with horrific sword marks and looked hideous and terrifying. At this time, Rox stepped forward, passing through the corpses everywhere, and arrived at the outermost edge of Crescent Bay. Ha 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 ha, five old guys, they actually went out. Rox pulled out his long knife, and the aura from his body, which had always been unfathomable, actually came out. He stared at the sea in the distance, and it seemed that something incredible was about to appear. Five old guys, Yulo stood behind Rox and was shocked when he heard this. He thought he heard it wrong. At the same time, he also released the color of seeing and hearing, and did not perceive anything. Rock's style of conduct would not make such a joke. Yulo observed Newgate and the others and found that their reactions were similar to his own. I think only Rox could sense it. Is this the top observation hockey? As expected, it is powerful, and in terms of coverage, advanced insights as far behind. Yulo's thoughts were flowing, and he was secretly shocked. Could it be the five elders of world government? Shiki's eyes flickered next to him, and he had some guesses in his mind. He couldn't help but speak, wanting to make sure. This also happened to ask everyone's doubts, and they all looked at rocks in front of them. Who else could it be but them, the most powerful people in the world government? Get ready for a big battle. The five old guys are not weak. They all have the strength of Marine Admiral, and two of them are even a little stronger. Rox said without looking back, and his voice reached everyone's ears. The combat power of five admirals. Newgate, Shiki, Linlin, and Kaido all nodded with awe in their hearts and became cautious. Suddenly, a row of blurry black spots appeared on the sea in the distance. At this distance, the five breaths can be sensed only when the advanced seeing and hearing color is covered. Although these five breaths are not as good as Rock's, they are still intimidating to ordinary people, and they are no less than Newgate and Shiki. The five elders on the distant warship also sense them. The five of them directly launched their razors and turned into a trajectory towards Crescent Bay. Gulu la la la, you must have a good time. It's been a long time since I fought against Admiral Strength. Newgate waved Kong Yunchi, his body and consciousness were cautious, but he did not lose any momentum. When fighting against Admiral forces, one must be cautious. This is not about fear, but about going all out. Gia ha ha ha, is this the five elders? Let me see how it compares to Admiral. Newgate was heroic, but Shiki certainly showed no sign of weakness. He pulled out the Sakura Jew and Dead Tree, and the cold glow of the blade reflected Shiki's eyes filled with fighting spirit. His strength had already been revealed before, and he could attack the Marine Admiral once he mastered the weapon color. After the battle with Yulo, all aspects have been improved, Conquerors is the most significant, and it has touched the threshold of Conqueror's entanglement. After his injury recovered, Rox said personally that Shiki is now strong enough to beat Admiral. Shiki licked his lips, his blood boiling all over. Only a real Admiral can verify his strength. 
Lucius, who died at his hands, was just a warm-up exercise. He barely stepped into Admiral's strength. How could he be a field marshal? Just look at the menacing five elders and you will know. A gust of wind passed by, and the five elders arrived in an instant. They stepped on the air and stayed in the air. Looking across the naval headquarters, half of the office building collapsed, soldiers' bodies were lying everywhere, and even the two people they sent, Lucius and Victor, were filled with hatred on the spot. This is the naval headquarters, the most powerful organization in the world government, which can be called the face of the world government. Now it has been destroyed into ruins, and marine soldiers have suffered heavy casualties. If this kind of thing spreads, the consequences will be equally disastrous. Marines' reputation and majesty will plummet, and the ferocious pirates on the sea will inevitably riot. The seriousness of this matter is no worse than the public beheading of celestial dragons. Rocks. You are so bold. Naval headquarters is not the place for you to act wild. The five old men had ugly expressions on their faces, anger burning in their chests, and they shouted loudly. Even though they were filled with anger, the five of them did not take action easily. The rocks and cadres present should not be underestimated. Five old guys, they came really quickly. We were planning to go to Maria Joy again. It's just the right time to come. They're all celestial dragons anyway so it doesn't matter who they kill. Rox's momentum was like that of a giant beast from the abyss, and the ferocious light in his eyes was clearly terrifying. The fierce words revealed the information of killing the five elders. Yulo stared at the five elders with deep eyes. The five old men in front of him seemed to be quite old. Therefore, these five old men should be the five elders of the older generation. It's not the five elders decades later in the original anime. With just half of your combat power, you don't have to go back once you're here. With provocative words, the violent blonde old man aroused endless murderous intent in his heart. They are not afraid of anyone except Rox, but even Rox has to face the difficulties this time. As long as Rox can be eliminated, the remaining cadres are nothing to worry about, and it is worth paying a high price. At the same time, all the battleships in the row accompanied by the five elders landed. A large number of CP organization members and a few scientific force soldiers came towards the pirates. CP is indeed a secret organization of the world government. There are no strong members, but there are also no weak ones. Their strength is at a medium level. The soldiers of the science force should not be underestimated in terms of armament. They are not very strong, but they wear a variety of strange combat uniforms and props, which improves their strength. Kids, kill them, they're a bunch of rabble. Rox was confronting the five elders. Upon seeing this, Newgate shouted and issued a battle order. Yulo and Shaki were also dismissive, not paying any attention to their appearance. The overall strength of this group of CP members and scientific troops seems to be quite strong, but if they want to take down a group of pirates, they are still a bit unsatisfied. They were all Rox, an elite crew selected for the attack on naval headquarters. Despite the small number of people, there are more than 20 captains, and the rest are all veteran crew members. Sure enough, as soon as Newgate finished speaking, the group of pirates immediately began to charge. The crazy energy and ferocious momentum are far beyond the comparison of the five elders. In terms of morale, they instantly suppressed the opponent. The two sides quickly fought together, with constant gunshots and swords, and the scene was once tragic. Ha ha, just awful. Rox smiled disdainfully, slowly raised the long knife, and the momentum around him began to rise. The five old men were extremely cautious, and their expressions changed when they saw this. No, Rox, it's time to take action. The five old men looked at each other secretly, and the leader with glasses nodded cautiously. They had already discussed the strategy for the battle on the road. This stare down is precisely for the purpose of starting to implement the strategy. The next moment, the blonde old man and the old man with glasses shot towards the charging rocks. This is the strategy of the five old men. At least two of them must contain rocks so that the other three can block it, Newgate, Shaki, and Yulo. After all, Yulo and the three are admiral combat forces, and each one will become a variable. Only by containing them all can they delay time. Boom. At this time, Rox finished accumulating his momentum, a fierce light flashed in his eyes, and his whole body was like a cannonball, ejected towards the two old men who were charging towards him. In an instant, the three people collided fiercely in the air, 
destroying the world with every movement of their hands and feet, erupting with earth-shattering power. But rocks, alone, actually had an inextricable fight with the two old men. This is the absolute admiral combat power. What shocked Yulo and others the most was that Rox was able to handle the battle with ease and ease, obviously not yet at full strength. Even against the strength of the two admirals, Rox was unable to use his full strength. It seems that there is still some way to go before surpassing Rox. Yulo was secretly shocked when observing. At this moment, the long-lost system prompt sounded in his mind. Ding. Trigger mission check-in. The admiral's combat power is so terrifying, please host and defeat one or more five elders in battle. The task is completed and the system will issue rewards. Yulo had a strange look in his eyes. Ever since he injured Admiral, he had been checking in every day, and the triggers for mission check-ins were obviously less. Of course, this is also related to the fact that he stayed on Beehive Island and practiced hard without going out. But now, the task check-in is triggered, which will only make Yulo work harder. These five bad old men are in danger. At this time, watching the battle in the distance, Newgate's sword was also hungry. He held the Bushunkiri tightly with both hands, and a white air mass appeared on the blade, activating the shock fruit ability. Gu la la la, let me see the strength of the five elders. Newgate bent his legs, his momentum suddenly exploded, and he locked onto an old man. Such a blatant provocation is self-evident. Boom. The ground exploded and power burst out. Newgate's tall body rose directly into the sky, looking down from above, with a smile on his face. He came to the sky above the long-bearded old man and slashed down decisively with the cloud cutter, causing the white air mass to vibrate crazily. The ferocious aura pressed down from above, and the long-bearded old man's expression suddenly changed, with a little shock in his heart. With such a strong sense of oppression, a monster-like body, and destructive abilities, Newgate is indeed very powerful. He sensed the threat and took action without hesitation. Immediately his armor was covered and emission hockey struck out fiercely. Click, click, boom, the two forces collided in the air, causing white cracks in the air, and then exploded with a bang, and the uncontrolled air flow rushed like a violent wind. Newgate and the long-bearded old man were separated at the first touch. Both of them were pushed back by the impact and fell on the ground in the distance. The two felt each other's strength and stared at each other from afar. Boy Yulo, how about you choose first? The battles started one after another, and Shaki, who had been watching, decided to take action. Shaki, ha ha ha, don't get knocked down. Yulo crossed his arms and joked rudely. He had a task to complete, so he would be the last to go if he could, and he might even be able to make a mistake. Gia ha ha ha, I can't wait any longer, I'm going to do it too. Shaki turned a deaf ear to this, why would he care about it at this time? Rox and Newgate started fighting one after another. The old man in a dark red suit saw that Shaki was about to launch an offensive, so he took the lead and struck. It turned into a stream of red light and swooped down towards Shaki. Damn it, I didn't realize it. The old man doesn't have martial ethics. Seeing that he was beaten first, Shaki was in a bad mood and spit out his cigar. Lion Majesty, water roll. Shaki raised his swords, and with a frown on his face, he activated the lion fruit ability. The water below rippled, and a huge lion's head rose up from the sea, biting the old man in a suit with its mouth wide open. The armed color is exposed. The old man in a suit faced the seawater lion head blocking his way, but his speed still did not decrease by half. The hardened and wrapped fists of the weapon suddenly hit emission hockey. Buzz, buzz, buzz. The invisible hockey rushed and surged, and the air screamed. Wow, the sound of water bursting was heard, and the seawater lion's head exploded. The water in the air scattered and spread over a large area. Whoosh, but at this time, a golden crescent slash had already arrived in front of the old man in a suit. The old man in a suit, who was advancing at a high speed, couldn't help but look frightened, but not panicked. This golden slash was caught off guard, but that was all. The figure of the old man in a suit struck horizontally in the air. He used the six-style moonwalk to flip through the air. Six moves, tempest kick, cutting skills. The energy on the right foot is concentrated, and it quickly rubs against the air, producing a white slash formed by the convergence of airflow and energy. 
This kind of slash using the six position physical technique is not as pure as the slash triggered by the sword, but it is equally powerful. The old man's right foot hit the golden slash, a steady stream of power emerged, and the golden slash shattered. Bang! The right foot that smashed the slash did not slow down at all, and he drew a slash along the way. The old man in the suit sneered in his heart, how dare you sneak attack me with a slash, I will return a slash to you. Gia ha ha ha, it turns out he is a strong individual artist. Shiki arched his body and laughed, crossing his swords to block the slash. The next moment, the figure of an old man in a suit came to Shiki. The moment he landed, Shiki said nothing and the lion fruit ability activated. Lion majesty, earth coiling. This time, clods of earth and gravel rose up from the ground, and three lion heads surrounded the old man in a suit. When the old man in the suit destroyed the lion's head, Shiki had already rushed over quickly. When the lion's head was broken, the two were directly entangled. One side is full of sword energy, and the other side is powerful with physical skills. Regardless of sword energy or physical skills, the attack is mixed with emission hockey. Clang, 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 sparks flew from the collision between the famous sword Sakura Ju and Deadwood and the fists and kicks of the old man in the suit. Between attack and defense, the surrounding air trembled, the ground was uprooted layer by layer, and there were traces of destruction everywhere. A series of battles broke out, and Yulo, Linlin, -lin, and Kaido, who were standing where they were, had already retreated to the side. The only old man in white robes left in the air kept staring at the three of them. Between the two sides, you stared at me and I stared at you. Under the gaze of the white-robed old man, Yulo didn't care. Linlin -lin and Kaido were always vigilant. However, while being alert, his eyes were also full of desire, which was the desire for battle and the desire for Admiral's combat power. Linlin, -lin, Kaido, you too, do you want to give it a try? Suddenly, Yulo's eyes rolled and he thought of a great idea. Look at these two idiots, they have simple minds, well-developed limbs, no strength, and they want to be abused. It's better to let them try it first. He just has the opportunity to observe the strength of five elders and rocks. Us. As soon as these words came out, as expected, Linlin and Kaido were stunned for a moment and then reacted immediately. Linlin's current strength is almost at the peak of Vice Admiral, but he has been unable to break through. He is at the bottom among the cadres. Kaido is a bit worse. He only has the strength of the elite Vice Admiral, which is about the same as Zephyr's strength when robbing the Heavenly Gold. After all, he has not yet obtained the ability of the fish fruit and blue dragon form. They thought Yulo was going to do it, but they didn't expect that he would give them a chance to try his hand. They will not let go of such a good opportunity, it is the time to hone themselves. What's more, with their pervert body and extraordinary self-healing ability, even if they are injured, it will not be fatal and they can recover in a short time. Okay, let's give it a try and see Admiral's combat power. There are not many opportunities like this. Linlin -lin and Kaido looked at each other and pondered for a moment, then said with eagerness to fight. If you lose, just withdraw. Yulo remained calm and nodded slightly, exuding a sense of force. He has not been in the group for long, but he is so powerful. In front of those who are weaker than him, Linlin -lin and Kaido, he still has to maintain his strength. The two of them made up their minds and took a step forward, ready to take action. Yulo stood in the back with a calm expression, but he was laughing secretly in his heart. With the strength of the two of you, you still want to see the Admiral's combat power. I really don't know where the confidence comes from, that is, I have not experienced the Admiral's combat power. Anyone who has seen the horror of the Admiral's combat power will not make such a decision. But I can see Admiral's combat power, but the price is a bit high. Um, the only remaining old man in white robe couldn't help but feel confused when he saw Linlin -lin and Kaido. What's the point of two weaklings standing up? Could it be that you want to take action? Take action against me. The old man in white robe shook his head and laughed. He had not fought for too long and was a little too nervous. The strength of these two people is okay, but they have not reached the admiral level, and they are completely insufficient in front of him. There must be nothing wrong with their minds, how dare they take action against themselves. However, just when the old man in white robe was thinking, he shook his head and laughed. Kaido below suddenly struck out, 
his tall and strong body carrying the mace in his hand, and hit him on the head. Thunder 8 Trigrams The mace was covered with armament hockey, its jet black spikes gleaming. Kaido doesn't show off his weapons, but with his taijutsu, just by hardening and entangling him, he looks fierce. As Kaido took action, Lin Lin followed closely behind, drawing out his long knife boldly. Wei Guo, the giant sword energy burst out of the air and arrived in front of the white-robed old man at the same moment as Kaido. Nani, the white-robed old man was thinking about it when he was suddenly attacked and immediately turned pale with fright. He really took action, why is it different from what I thought? Admiral, a strong man, reacted so quickly. He hurriedly displayed his weapons and barely blocked two waves of attacks. However, he still took a few steps back. After all, he was a little hasty and caught him off guard. These two bastards are simply looking for death. After the shock, there was endless anger. Being provoked by two weaklings was no different from humiliating him. It seems that there is something really wrong with my brain. In this case, don't blame me for being rude. On the contrary, Kaido, who was ejected, returned to Lin Lin. The two looked at each other and smiled, the meaning was self-evident, and they did not expect that they could actually make Admiral take two steps back. At this moment, Lin Lin and Kaido were instantly confident. The two of them took action again, ejecting directly into the air and charging straight towards them. Yulo below saw this and couldn't help but cover his eyes. Even Shiki and Newgate, who were fighting in the distance, couldn't help but look sideways when they heard the movement here. They didn't know the reason, but they were really shocked when they saw Lin Lin and Kaido being so brave. Thunder 8 Trigrams Thunder, fire, Lin Lin and Kaido attacked from both sides, their momentum even more fierce than before. Kaido's huge mace struck again with great strength. Zeus and Prometheus floated beside Lin Lin. They turned into lightning and flames and were beaten out by Lin Lin. You don't know what you can do. The white-robed old man's eyes were gloomy, and despite the two men's attacks approaching, the power in his body actually surged. He could see the confident smiles of the two people in front of him just now. He didn't want to know where this crazy energy came from. The idea in his mind right now was to crush this self-confidence and make the two of them kneel down and beg for mercy. They must be deeply aware of the mere vice admiral level of strength. Admiral's combat power cannot be insulted. Thunder 8 Trigrams and Thunder Flames worked together to attack both sides of the white-robed old man's cheeks. Lin Lin and Kaido, who were blindly confident, watched this scene with bright eyes, hoping to injure the old man in white robe. However, their idea is simply ridiculous. It's over, it's over, it's over. Yulo stood below, shaking his head repeatedly and muttering, but looking gloating. Lin Lin and Kaido, one wants to have a child with him, and the other provoked him before. Now if they mess with each other, they won't blame me. The old man in white robe sneered in his heart, looking at their expectant eyes, he must give them a hard blow to let them know their gap. At this thought, the white robed old man's body shook, and the armament hockey in his body exploded. There seemed to be an invisible barrier around him, and the offensives of Thunder 8 Trigrams and Thunder Flames were all resisted. Boom, boom, then, two explosions and ferocious impact dispersed the two attacks. What? Unscathed. The attack was dispersed. Lin Lin and Kaido's eyes widened, and they were unsteady and almost fell. An unexpected scene shocked their minds. They couldn't figure out why this was happening. Just now, they had beaten the old man in white robes so hard that he took two steps back. Before they had time to think about it, a strong gust of wind hit them, and both of them were covered in cold sweat. The old man in white robes disappeared from the place at some point, and appeared in front of Kaido the next moment. Try my finger pistol. A finger covering armament hockey suddenly pressed against Kaido's abdomen. How is it possible, so fast? Kaido's expression froze, but inside he was horrified. His observation hockey was not aware of it at all. Puff, the finger spurted out, white power mixed with dark armament hockey. It directly penetrated Kaido's waist and abdomen, and a striking blood hole appeared, and blood spurted out. Ah, Kaido screamed, flew backwards, and fell to the ground in a panic. This is only a few breaths of time, but it is enough for Charlotte Linlin to come out of her delusion. Is this kind of strength, the real, admiral combat power? Linlin's mind was filled with shock, and only then did she realize how stupid her idea was. 
she couldn't care anymore, and when she saw Kaido being punched through the abdomen, she had the idea of retreating. But it's not that easy. The white-robed old man's shooting speed didn't give him any chance at all. Tempest kick slashing skill. The white-robed old man turned around and struck with a side kick. His power was comparable to finger pistol, and he was swift and fierce. Lin Lin knew he couldn't dodge, so he had no choice but to cover the main torso with armament hockey. Boom! A powerful slash hit Lin Lin's chest. Due to her armed defense, her body was not penetrated by the slash, and the violent impact could not be offset. Lin Lin immediately spurted out blood, and his whole body was like a cannonball, smashing into the office building of naval headquarters. The violent movement here caused Shaki and Newgate to look back and watch again. The two of them were not surprised by what they saw, but they just felt a little miserable. They fought with the two old men for hundreds of rounds, so they naturally understood the difference. Lin Lin and Kaido were not fools either. They endured the pain and returned to Yulo. They were afraid that the old man in white robe would continue to take action, which would be really bad. How do you feel? Yulo smiled half-heartedly and asked the two of them. No match at all. The strength of the old man in white robe is definitely not weak among Admiral. If he continues to attack, I'm afraid we won't be able to sustain ten moves. Lin Lin and Kaido were breathing heavily, covering their bleeding wounds, with a hint of fear on their faces. Yulo chuckled and said nothing. He already knew the approximate strength of the white-robed old man, as well as the three old men who fought between Shaki and Newgate. Compared to that Admiral Herman, their strength is only stronger. Only the two remaining old men have fought fiercely with rocks until now, and have never had the upper hand. It is difficult to infer their strength. At this moment, a loud shout came. Rocks, one versus two, how dare you get distracted? Yulo looked up, saw rocks, and glanced here. The grumpy blonde old man roared, and the old man with glasses seized the opportunity and attacked rocks repeatedly. Lin Lin and Kaido were still a little weak, so they just fought with the old man in white robes and were directly injured. Rocks looked away. Shaki and Newgate could even notice it, let alone him. Facing the fierce attacks of the two old men, how could Rox tolerate them? His aura suddenly became more ferocious and brutal, like an ancient beast. Rox began to fight back, and his body disappeared instantly, avoiding the attack in front of him. The next moment, he appeared on the head of the blonde old man, and the long knife in his hand suddenly struck down. Damn, so fast, the blonde old man cursed secretly, and according to observation hockey, Rox's speed was as fast as ultimate. He mobilized armament hockey, covering and wrapping his hands, crossing to block. Boom, pressed down by a huge force, the blonde old man lost control and fell for a distance before regaining his balance. Hiss. Dot who. His arms were shaking slightly, and his face showed shock. This guy's strength has become stronger. After fighting for so long just now, his arms are not numb. The bespectacled old man's face was extremely solemn, and his hands holding the handle of the knife tightened. When the blonde old man was shot down, he pounced on him. Rock's moves became more and more fierce, and the old man with glasses was losing ground. It was difficult for him to support it alone. The blonde old man waved his arms and immediately attacked. The two of them had previously joined forces but could not gain the upper hand. Now that Rock's power has increased, the two team up to attack with all their strength, but are still suppressed by him. Boom, boom, boom. The three auras entangled with each other, armament hockey collided, and the sword energy slashed and flew in all directions. The thick clouds in the sky were swept away by the air currents, and wherever the three men fought, the sea and the ground continued to explode. When the only remaining old man in white robe saw this, his expression became ugly. They were very afraid of rocks and sent two old men to fight. They didn't think about defeating the opponent, they just wanted to maintain a stalemate. But I didn't expect that Rox was so powerful that even the two old men were overwhelmed by him. There is no way to continue like this, and you won't be able to hold on for a long time. Moreover, in addition to Rox, Shaki and Newgate are also strong. The old man with a long beard and the old man in a suit were equally matched with them, and they couldn't free their hands in a short time. Just rely on him to deal with Yulo, and then work together to deal with Rox. He was about to take action just now, but was delayed by two weaklings. Groan. There was a soft metallic sound, and the old man took out a famous sword from his white robe. 
At the same time, a sword force emerged from the body of the old man in white robe. Under the blessing of this sword force, the breath became more oppressive. Lin Lin and Kaido were stunned, their eyes filled with disbelief. They had never expected it. The old man in white robe is not only powerful in physical skills, but judging from the fierce sword power, his sword skills are also not weak. It turns out he is a great swordsman. Yulo suddenly narrowed his eyes and joked with a smile. Such a fierce sword power was no weaker than Golden Lion Shiki. The old man in white robe hid it very well, and even he didn't notice it. Yulo, Herman's injury was probably caused by your swordsmanship. Let me try my swordsmanship that can hurt Admiral. The old man in white robes pulled out his famous sword, his eyes flashed with an inexplicable light, and his voice was filled with murderous intent. A cold light flashed across the sharp tip of the knife. He had already learned about Yulo's combat strength information. He also knew that Herman's wound was difficult to heal due to the green fire. So in his opinion, Yulo's strength relies entirely on Ching Huo. As long as Yulo uses swordsmanship to fight him, he is confident that he can defeat Yulo. He he, when Yulo heard this, he immediately understood, and then smiled, and was underestimated again. This old man is really confident. He thinks he can defeat me without using Qinglian's inner fire. But this made Yulo even more excited, and he couldn't help but take action. Yulo grabbed it in the air, and a beautiful famous sword appeared in his right hand. G, 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 G. The slender blade was dancing with arcs of electricity, and it was clearly a rakiri, a top-notch fast sword. Um, this knife, the old man in white robe frowned. Seeing that what Yulo took out was not a black knife, he felt that he was despising himself, and he felt angry. One sword style slash, he immediately let out an angry shout, swung out the famous sword in his hand, and struck out a white sword energy. Then the whole person, following the sudden sword energy, rushed towards Yulo. Little tricks, Yulo sneered, finding it a bit funny. Slashing is the standard equipment of a swordsman, not to mention that the old man is a great swordsman, and he actually treats slashing as a sword-style swordsmanship. Yulo raised his hand to draw out, mixed with arcs of electricity, the sword energy rushed straight up. Easily broke through the white-robed old man's slash. Immediately afterwards, sharp sword intent erupted from Yulo's body. This sword intent spreads around like conquerors. The clouds and the sky opened, and sword marks appeared on the ground. Lin Lin and Kaido, who were nearest, saw a large number of small marks on their skin. They were frightened and hurriedly retreated away. Such a sharp sword intent, how is it possible? The old man in white robe approached quickly, but his expression suddenly changed, full of disbelief. He looked at the tiny sword marks on the back of his hand, and his mind changed drastically. The terrifying sword intent is just like Conqueror's hockey. It can cause substantial damage without using sword skills. Although it does not represent the strength of swordsmanship, this natural will alone is enough to make people fearful. This sword intent swept across all directions, leaving traces everywhere it passed. Terrible swordsmanship talent. The other four old men's expressions kept changing, and they also felt the sword's intention. Among them, the old man in white robe was the strongest in swordsmanship. He originally wanted him to win quickly and then support the four of them. Now it seems that it is impossible. The battle between the old man in white robe will be quite fierce. Damn it, the two old men who besieged Rox looked gloomy and cursed secretly. They couldn't hold on for long, and Rox's explosive strength was beyond their imagination. Once Rox gets rid of them, he will definitely deal with the other old men. When all five of them are defeated, if Marine has not rushed back, then his success will be in vain. Ha 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 ha, with such cadres here, destroying the world government is just around the corner. Rox faced the two old men without hiding his ambition and laughed proudly. As one of the strongest men on the sea and the only person present who has mastered the top level of knowledge, he feels it more deeply than others. Yulo's sword intent is very powerful, but it is far from enough to cause a real attack. There are only a few people in Dahai's history. The traces of the sword's intention turning into substance have conqueror's winding skills. It seems that this kid Yulo has learned conqueror's entanglement, and Rox is quite fun and a little unexpected at this time. On the other side, Shiki, Newgate, the old man with a long beard and the old man in a suit also have completely different attitudes. 
The expressions on the two old men's faces were extremely ugly. They knew the situation on the field and anyone's strong strength would be detrimental to them. Gu la la la, old man, you are distracted. While Newgate was surprised, he was still wary of the long-bearded old man. Seeing him looking at Yulo, Newgate seized the opportunity and slashed Kong Yunchi down vertically, and the long-bearded old man hurriedly blocked it. Gia ha ha ha, Yulo is awesome. During the Shiki battle, he was shocked for a moment and then came back to his senses. At the same time, I thought to myself, I will ask Yulo for advice when I go back. The materialization of sword intent is a state that all great swordsmen dream of, but few achieve it. Now that this person is around, maybe he can achieve it. Now that the battle has begun, Yulo will not hold back. Just when everyone was shocked, Yulo was already fighting fiercely with the old man in white robe. Let me see the real Ito Ryu. Thousand Slice Valley. Yulo used Shiki's signature swordsmanship, and countless thunder and lightning sword energy overwhelmed the sky, covering the white-robed old man and cutting off his retreat. The famous sword in the white-robed old man's hand was dancing wildly, and a large number of slashes were shot out, while his figure kept retreating. Boom, 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 the sword chi collided with each other, the sound of explosions resounded in the sky, and a rain of sword chi appeared in the sky. Yulo activated his razor and turned into a flash of lightning, passing through the rain of sword energy and chasing the old man in white robes. If the old man in white robe runs away, who will Yulo fight with? In an instant, the lightning arrived, and the tip of Reikiri's knife appeared, stabbing the white-robed old man's chest. The old man in white robe lay down, and the famous sword in his hand was swept upward. Bang! The two swords touched, the sound of swords sounded, and the sharp sword energy burst out. Reikiri was swept away, Yulo's arms were dancing wildly, and the sword's cold light mixed with electric light streaked through the air. The old man in white robe adjusted his figure, his expression solemn but unhurried. Clang, 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 although he kept retreating, every sword he swung was able to block the incoming Reikiri. The two of them walked quickly on the ground, and the land they passed was full of cracks. This Yulo, his close-range swordsmanship is actually so powerful. The old man in white robe had serious eyes and seized the opportunity to escape. Yulo is young and strong. If he continues to be exhausted like this, I won't be able to sustain him. G Tiger hunting, Yulo frowned, not giving the old man in white robe a chance to breathe. The sharp sword energy transformed, and a giant tiger with thunder and lightning sword energy appeared in the sky out of thin air. It was mysterious, majestic and majestic. Roar, the giant tiger with thunder and lightning sword energy looked up to the sky and roared, before biting the white-robed old man. The white-robed old man's eyes narrowed, and the giant tiger's fangs exuded an astonishing sense of sharpness. Your swordsmanship is indeed strong, but don't underestimate me. The hand of the old man in white robe gently stroked the blade of the sword, and his sword intention increased a lot. His real purpose is the same as Yulo's before, to find out the opponent's combat power. After all, the essence of Yulo's sword power forced him to be extremely cautious, and this battle depended entirely on him. One blade style shadow slash. With a soft groan, the sword light flashed quickly. The white robed old man was still on the spot, but the sword energy had already cut through the thunder and lightning giant tiger. Jihu shows thunder and lightning sword energy was broken into two pieces in the middle and dissipated in the air in the blink of an eye. The shadow sword sword chi didn't consume much, and the speed was still as fast as ultimate, as if it cut through the space and went straight towards Yulo. Oh, it's interesting. Yulo sighed and raised his eyebrows, feeling a little surprised. This shadow slash move aroused his interest. Even after he calmed down, the old man in white robe really worked hard to defeat him. Even though he is so powerful, he still pretends to be losing ground to test his own strength. Haha, <laughs> it's all in vain. The strength I used is just for you to see. Deep down in his heart, Yulo sneered at this. He held Reikiri horizontally in his right hand and turned the blade upward. The domineering emission hockey transformed into an invisible impact force through Reikiri's blade, spurting out like an air cannon. In an instant, a large amount of air flow gathered in front of Yulo, forming an air flow Uzumaki. Emission impact is propelled by the air current Uzumaki, and the speed is not slower than Shadow Slash. Boom, 
The sword energy collided with hockey, and the heaven and earth buzzed continuously. The air flow was chaotic and exploded, causing the ground to explode in large areas. Yulo and the old man in white robes flashed and stepped back to distance themselves. Ha 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 ha, this shadow slash move is pretty good, I can use all the other moves. Yulo moved his wrists with expectation in his eyes. He found that the old man in white robe had some differences in his swordsmanship. The shadow slash just now was extremely fast and the sword energy was sharp. It was just a simple slash without the surging power. Yulo's perception of sight, hearing and color is very similar to his sword drawing technique, with the same purpose but the same purpose. HMPH, arrogant. The old man in white robe snorted coldly, his face turned slightly ugly, feeling that Yulo was looking down on him. He didn't take action immediately, but instead stared at Yulo, flickering. He already knew Yulo's swordsmanship, but the display of his weapon shocked him. Yulo's exquisite control of external play is actually a bit more sophisticated than him. There is also a swordsmanship that is not weaker than his. Even if Yulo does not use his abilities, it will not be easy for him to win. If Yulo uses his abilities, his hope will be slim. Damn, miscalculation. As the white-robed old man was thinking, his face became increasingly ugly, angry and anxious, and he gritted his teeth. In the original plan, Yulo, who was regarded as a breakthrough, was stronger than they expected. For a moment, the old man in white robe was undecided and subconsciously looked at the other four battlefields. Whitebeard Newgate's cloud cut, shock fruit ability, open and close, fierce and domineering. Where he and the long-bearded old man fought, the ground collapsed and exploded, and the airflow was everywhere. The entire naval headquarters was affected, half of the office building was shattered, and the other half collapsed. The long-bearded old man relied on the advanced skills of the sixth form and armament hockey to maintain a stalemate with Newgate. They looked evenly matched, but in fact they were more defensive and a few attacked in a roundabout way. The destructive power of shock fruit was so devastating that the old man with a long beard had no choice but to avoid its sharp edge and fight in roundabout ways. The battle between Golden Lion Shiki and the old man in a suit is also quite fierce. Shiki's swordsmanship and lion fruit ability are not as strong and domineering as Newgate's and have a wide range. The old man in the suit had no scruples and fought hard with Shiki. The two figures shuttled through the air, changing battlefields everywhere, causing the airflow to become turbulent. Sakura Ju and Kusaki's blades, and armament hockey's fists and kicks, kept colliding. The sword energy shoots out, hockey is released, the force erupts, various impacts are thrown around, the clouds are damaged, and the sea is turbulent. Earth lions and water lions occasionally roared in the air, but they were immediately broken. Shiki and the old man in the suit are evenly matched in attack, but Shiki is very flexible due to the lion fruit. The moonwalk of the old man in a suit is relatively not agile enough, and seems to be led by Shiki. The most critical thing is rocks. After fighting against the two old men, he gained an absolute advantage after his strength increased. Regardless of physical skills, hockey or swordsmanship, the enhanced combat power could barely compete. The blonde old man and the old man with glasses were completely at a disadvantage and were beaten back steadily. If this continues, he will either be defeated or exhausted. In short, he will definitely lose. But no one noticed that the battle between the pirate crew and members of the CP organization was coming to an end. These members of the CP organization suppressed the pirates in numbers, but they lacked elite combat power. Under the leadership of each captain, the pirates almost finished their work. The white-robed old man's face was as dark as the bottom of a pot. They, the world government side, were completely at a disadvantage. Suddenly, he glanced at Linlin -Lin and Kaido who were watching the battle in the distance. Only then did I realize that there were two more rocks pirates who had not participated. Although his brain is a bit wadi and his strength is not as strong as Admiral's, he is considered the best among them. CP0's strongest guard, the humanoid weapon from the science department, arrived too slowly. The old man in white robe gritted his teeth, his eyes were bloodshot, and he couldn't help but swear. In fact, they were not satisfied with their arrival and were already on their way, but the situation in front of them made the old man in white robes pass by like a year. Well, the old man in white robe had his eyelids drooped, his voice was hoarse and low, and his breath became violent, like a very vicious person. He mobilized all his strength, 
the energy in his body was running to the limit, and his eyes full of anger were staring at Yulo. The current situation was not optimistic, so the old man in white robe decided to give it a try, maybe there would be a turn for the better. The white-robed old man's aura soared into the sky, and his sharp sword intent was mixed with the violent conqueror's hockey. On the ground around the white-robed old man, red arc-shaped energy spread, crackling and lifting up the earth. High-level conquerors, observation hockey sensed the change in the aura of the old man in white robes. Yulo's eyes narrowed, feeling the aura, and he became a little more vigilant. As the five elders of world government, the most powerful people in the real world, they can be said to be the undisputed kings. It makes sense to be able to awaken conquerors hockey, and Yulo is not surprised. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.